Hey everyone, it's Amanda from Echo Consulting and today I've got a pretty simple tutorial here for you uh, working through a use case where in Smartsheet we might want to have multiple forms that lead into the same sheet. So the use case we're going to look at is as if you have a sheet that is part of your marketing intake process. This could really work for any intake process, but we're just going to look at marketing in this example. Um, and then as part of that intake process, generating a form so that folks on your team or different teams or departments can submit requests or project requests in this case for marketing services or marketing materials. So we're going to work through that use case today. I'm going to make my window smaller here. And we're actually going to start off in Miro just to briefly understand this workflow. So this is a pretty simple uh, workflow diagram that I've drafted up here. Um, our marketing intake sheet is our kind of main hub of all of our information that we want to track. So again, any intake process, it's really helpful to have one place to store all of the intake information about incoming projects. And then you can work through that information and decide what projects get approved, which projects get uh, declined or maybe deferred to later, and so on and so forth. So we're going to be working in Smartsheet for the kind of home base of our intake process. And what I'd like to do today is build two different forms to help anybody who might need to submit requests into the intake process have a really simple way of doing that. And our two forms are gonna serve two different really populations or different users. Uh, so one is gonna be a really simple marketing idea drop form. This is a really great option for, let's say there's a, an interdisciplinary or interdepartmental meeting. There's a lot of collaborative work and there's some really great ideas that are getting thrown around in that meeting. You wanna have a place to catalog those ideas without having to go and look through your meeting minutes or something like that. So we're just gonna make a really simple form that uh, we can share the link to, and that way folks can just add in those ideas pretty quickly and painlessly. We also wanna have a little bit more of a robust official marketing request form. So in this example, because it's a marketing intake process, what I have in mind here is you know, maybe one of the company stakeholders is gonna be um, presenting at a conference. And so there's going to be a need for marketing materials and promotion for that appearance. And so we wanna have a, a place where we can start to get that process rolling and consider that marketing project before we uh, need those materials. So with all that in mind, let's go ahead and hop into Hot Smartsheet and we're gonna get started. Okay, so we're here in Smartsheet. I've got a sample sheet here, uh, just called a demo marketing intake sheet. And you can see already that there's not a lot of information on this sheet yet. Um, we don't have a lot of data to work with, but what we do have are our columns that show us what kind of information we might be looking for uh, through this intake process. So you can see here, you know, we of course wanna know the stage, whether or not it's approved, but here we already see, oh, we've got different departments that are maybe requesting information or requesting materials or support from the marketing team. So that's a really important piece of information. There's other things in here too. If you are, or if this were for marketing content, um, you know, this would be a really great piece of information to know. What is the name of the project? Some description information. And there's a few more items in here that are uh, less pertinent to this example. But so what I wanna do right away, we've already got our intake sheet. So this is assuming that your team or org has a little bit of an intake process already or has a place to drop that information. And we're gonna create some forms to help folks add information into this sheet. So to create forms, we're gonna hop into the forms builder. When you click this tab, you can see that I can create a form right from here and it opens up the form builder. But I also wanna show, I'm just gonna not save this form. So if you click forms and you go to manage forms, you can create a form from this screen and it will also show you if there are already forms uh, associated with this sheet. So I always like to go from the forms manager because I can see what forms already exist and it helps me understand what needs to be made. So let's go ahead and create a new form. If you're new to uh, Smartsheet Form Builder, here's the interface. Left-hand side is really kind of design elements of the form. Um, Right-hand side is where we get to be a little bit specific about each form option. 
And then the middle is where we actually see our form options or our fields. Now you'll notice right away these titles are familiar. So these automatically come from the column names in the sheet. And so what we're doing in the form builder is we're gonna decide which of those columns we want to include in the form. And then we'll decide how we wanna format the data and what uh, form items are required and things like that. So the first thing I'm do gonna do, I just wanna rename this. Let's call this marketing request form. And then, so I can already see here, there's information on this form that's been naturally dropped in from the sheet that I just don't really need. So I'll talk through it as I go. Again, this is a little bit of a specific use case. So anybody who would wanna make a formal request to the marketing team would have to go through this form. Um, at that point, we don't really need to know the stage in the intake process because this is really initiating the intake process. So we'll just remove that. We don't need to know if it's approved. Um, because that happens after the, uh, the submission of an idea, so we'll take that out. We do want to know the requesting department, and so when I click this kind of form, square, rectangle, space, this is where we can start to edit the information that shows up around this form option. So I'd like to make this form item required. I definitely want to know what the requesting department is. I can also change the way that the buttons are displayed. I can add some helper text, and I can change the label, and I'll show that a little bit further down. We wanna know, uh, submitted by for sure. Approver, I'll leave on here. This is the idea that when we go through our kind of intake process, I'll just toggle back to Miro for a second. So someone's submitting information uh, or submitting a request for marketing materials, they might have a sense of who needs to approve that request. They might not know that information because they might be kind of too far removed from the intake process. So we'll include it as an option, but we won't make it required. Uh, assigned to, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, yeah, we'll leave that in there in case that's something folks wanna add also. Priority, yes, I would like to know the priority of these projects. Content type, I'll leave that in there uh, as required. And of course, we want our project title and description pretty early on, so I'm gonna put those right at the top. And for the description, we're gonna make both of those required. For the description, I am gonna add some additional helper text. So um, provide a brief description of your marketing request or idea. So this helper text is really nice if you might be sharing this form with folks who don't necessarily have the context to um, understand how all these pieces of information fit into their request. So it's just really nice to give that extra bit of info. You could also change the name, the label too, um, right? You could change sort of the cultural language that you want to use in terms of how uh, interdepartmental communication happens. Um, we're just going to leave this as description. Okay. And then approved. So assign to, okay, there's a couple items in here that are a little bit kind of specific that we don't really need for this type of a form. Uh, create is something we use a lot at ECHO. It stands for change request, risk, action, uh, issue, and decision. Um, but we're gonna take that out for now. And I think just about everything else here, yeah, primary channel, that's to show us, you know, if we were making online marketing content, for example, what channels are we gonna be posting to? Um, if you were making materials for an in-person appearance at a conference, you could say, um, you know, is this a PR event? Is this um, a sales event? You know, what kind, of, what kind of an event is it? So I'm gonna leave the primary channel. I'm gonna delete most other things. We'll leave the due date in there, but most of these other fields we can just go ahead and delete. Don't delete the request date. Oh, and that's actually a really good point. So. Um, let's say that I accidentally delete a field that I wanted to be in there. You've probably noticed this by now, but as you delete fields, they show up as options on the left-hand side. So you can always add something back in, um, which I do. I want to add my request to due date. I'm just going to click and drag it right where I wanted it to be. Okay, and then we're going to save this. Now from this point, if we want to see what the form looks like, all we have to do is open up the form here. And so this is what the user is going to experience when they fill out the form. So just nice to see that. Another option here, if you want to share it right from this location, you just hit share form and you can go through the process of generating a link for the form. So let's go ahead and go back to our main sheet. 
because I want to create two different forms for different types of users, so folks who have a lot of information about their idea or less information about their idea, what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm just gonna duplicate this form and I'm gonna remove even more information from the second draft, the second iteration. So you just click these three little dots and you say duplicate. And you'll see it's the same exact form, it's just got a different title, which I'm going to change to Marketing Idea Drop, which you'll remember is from our workflow. That is our second form option. And then, so because this is really for just gathering ideas, I need less information. So I probably still want to know who's requesting it, but maybe I make that optional. Um, still would like to know who submitted it, so maybe I move that up the chain here. I don't need to know the approver, don't need to know the assigned to. I'm not even gonna say I need to know the priority um, or the content type. I'm gonna leave some things here as optional, but I'm gonna leave them in the form. I'll take out primary channel, uh, and I'm gonna leave request a due date, but I'll make that optional too. So folks could just give me title and description and then submit it by, and that's enough information for this piece of you know, content or this, uh, this data point to be added to our intake process. So that's my new form, I'm gonna save it. Again, I'll just open it up really qu quickly. You can see this is a lot simpler to work through, fewer pieces of information needed. And so the last piece of this is let's go ahead and use both of these forms so we can see them in action. So I'm back in the form builder, uh, form builder, excuse me. I'm gonna hit open form for both of these. This is our more formal form, more formal form, less robust form, right? So I'm just gonna fill this out really quickly. Uh, requesting department, let's say finance. Mm -mm. These are not required, so we won't worry about those. So this is a medium priority. We'll say it is a slide deck. And maybe we want it by next month. Okay, I'm gonna submit that. I'm gonna do the same thing with my first or my kind of shorter form. We're gonna say this is sales. I'm actually not gonna fill out any of these other things. I'm just gonna submit that as is. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our sheet now and then I'm gonna close the form builder and hit refresh and we'll see our data in here. Okay, and so there we go. We can see already that both of those forms work. They added the information into the sheet and you can see, you know, one of these has a lot more information than the other. So the idea here is that Sometimes folks on your team or in your organization or maybe even in a project where you're working with other orgs, there's different types of projects, there's different levels of information that is known about the project, there's different, different levels of information that is needed to put it through the intake process. So it's really helpful to just still keep all of your project information in one place in your intake sheet, at least for the intake process. Um, but here you get to have a couple different forms to kind of start to navigate some of those difference, uh, differences in projects. So I hope this was helpful. If you've got more questions about intake process, uh, smart sheet, building out workflows, kind of customizing and streamlining your systems, definitely check out our YouTube page. It's Echo Consulting. And then if you haven't been to our website already, there's a lot of free resources there as well. That's echoprojectmanagement.com.